The Environment Agency is beginning to prepare for the winter months ahead. They're training with new barriers, pumps, vehicles and drones to test their flood responses. Our correspondent Enda Brady has the latest from Shoreham in West Sussex. Well, this is the final day of Operation Certus, which is a big, big dress rehearsal for the Environment Agency. About a thousand staff involved and the scenario they're working towards is that a storm surge is battering the south coast. Let's join Sir James Bevan, who's the chief executive of the Environment Agency. Sir James, how important is it that your staff are prepared, come what may? Well, it's really important that we're ready for the next flood event, wherever that strikes. I've seen the effects of flooding on people, on property. It can really ruin lives, and our top priority is to make sure that we are ready to protect as many people as possible this winter. And your staff are making the best use of technology today. We've seen a drone up, for example. We are. We've invested since, since December, the big floods that we saw in December, in a lot more kit and technology. So what we're training with here today are drones that will give us much more real-time information about what's going on. Uh, we have new temporary barriers, up to 40 kilometres of new barriers that we can deploy quickly if we need it to places that need protecting. We've got instant uh, control vehicles that will help us manage local, uh, local activity. But most important of all, we've trained up to 6,500 of our staff who will be available if we have another big flood event this winter. We can take a look at what some of your guys are doing just behind us here. So these are temporary flood barriers that they're just piecing together and I guess it's all about speed of response? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen this done last winter. Temporary barriers won't protect everywhere. The, we, we always look to provide permanent defences where that makes sense and where we're standing right now in Shoreham is a place where we are investing in new permanent defences. But there are many places where you can't build permanent defences and in that case, temporary barriers like this can make a real difference. And the thing about these, these new ones that we've acquired, is that they're lighter and quicker to assemble so it will enable us to be even faster next time we need to respond. And what we're seeing at the moment is the biggest ever investment by government in flood defences. We are. Two and a half billion pounds over the next five years. What that will do is fund over 1,500 flood defence schemes up and down the country, including here in Sussex, and better protect over 300,000 houses by 2021. Okay, Sir James Bevan, thanks for your time today. So, as Sir James was saying, no one can predict where or when the next flood will be. Uh, it will happen somewhere, but the Environment Agency, all this work today is just making sure that their staff are ready when it happens.